Sonia, I, I think personally, like I'm saying, sometimes it is always good to be wiser rather than wait for, uh, you know, tops and bottoms. Those are numbers. You could hit a, a 19,000. I'm not denying that in the next few days, but that seems a big problem, very, very layer of poverty in the sense that everything is priced in. You see, the money which was missing the markets was the FI money, which was underweight. And, and, and believe me, some of the mutual funds who thought they are smarter than uh, everyone and were sitting on large cash pools. Now, that is getting deployed in a hurry. I, it's all the signs. You cannot have all asset classes rise in tandem. Gold hit new highs, bonds hit new highs, and the uh, s and is hitting new highs. So something will give, and I think all that is priced in. Now, it's not that there is a big negative. All I'm saying is that it's always good to leave some on the table and take some chips home. So, Sonia, you know, when everything was dull and there was no mojo at 16,817, that's the way, that's where you enter. And then closer to 18,800 is where you take money off the table. Don't try and time the market and leave some money on the table. I think mid caps are very, very frothy. There has been a lot of uh, euphoria built around all that, but that's because there has been trading profit. Once you see some sort of plateauing over there, you could see the correction get a little bit deeper. So I am I am of the I am of the camp. This is the time to raise money and sit okay. on the sidelines. All right. So raise money and sit on the sidelines.